Hi, and welcome to this Bacon Bits video. This time we'll be showing how to deploy and install Microsoft Office 365 with special configuration for also installing Visio through the new repository feature in Bacon. Over here on the left, you should see this new menu, Repository. Inside of Repository are files and bundles. Files, exactly what you think. This is Bacon's collection of files that you want to either install or push onto someone else's computer or all of the computers in your network. Bundles, each one of these bundles is a collection of files. A bundle is what gets deployed on the machines. To start with, we're going to upload files for the Office 365 installation. I'm going to upload three files. An XML configuration file which helps set how to perform the installation. A setup.exe which actually calls out to Microsoft performs the download for the different applications and runs the install. And then the PowerShell script, which holds all the business logic and ensures that the installation happens as the way it should and uh, also adds in the command line parameters for proper installation. Okay, let's have a brief look at what these files are inside of Visual Studio Code. So the configuration Office 365, this file comes from Microsoft and describes what to install plus any additional packages. And here you will see in addition to Office 365, we will also be installing Visio. Now this is a configuration that comes from Microsoft and will be passed in to the setup.exe at installation time. <clears throat> How does it get passed in? Through a simple PowerShell script. You'll see right here on line 10, start a process, call setup, pass the argument list, and as part of this configure flag is the actual XML configuration file that we were just looking at. This PowerShell script is a very simple setup. It tells us we're going to start. It checks to make sure that the configuration file exists. If it does, we will be performing the installation. And once installation is completed, we'll get the time of completion. If this doesn't work, or if the file does not exist, we'll get a message back in Bacon saying, unable to find the XML file. To build this, I will select three files. <clears throat> Action, create bundle, and install O365 with Visio. <clears throat> Set windows. And in order to get this started, I need to pick one file that will kick off the installation process for everything else. It won't be the setup.exe because if we run this as is, it won't have the proper command line arguments being passed to it. That's why we're going to pick the PowerShell script as the launcher. The PowerShell script has all the business logic required for running the application properly and also sending some uh, log information back to Bacon. So we'll save this. We've now created a bundle and here we have install O365 with Visio, actions, deploy, and this is just like every other deployment in Bacon. You select your endpoint, installation location, I'll keep that there, and then deploy.